I'm Rocky Dahl, and we're here at the 2015 Cincinnati Comic Expo. I have so much fun at the Comic Expo every year. There's so many exciting things, and what I love about it is it expands and gets larger and more exciting, fun things. This year, I got to see Darth Vader. I got to see all the Batmobile and the Batcopter, which I am going to get on the Batcopter and do some stuff, as well as all different kinds of Star Wars and uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So, but tonight is the Cincinnati Zombie Walk, and it's our seventh annual Cincinnati Zombie Walk, and I'm hosting it with Mortified Zombie. She's crazy. And uh, so ten last year, we had 7,000 people at the Cincinnati Zombie Walk. This year, let's see what happens. I'm very excited. And you know what? It's for the Free Store Food Bank. Uh, we ask everyone to donate canned goods, and uh, all proceeds go to the Free Store Food Bank. I am very excited about tonight's events. Even though they're supposed to gather at 7.30, we all get very excited and we all show up at 7 o'clock. So this year, I'm showing up at the Free Store Food Bank at 7 o'clock for all the excitement, all the zombies, families all gather. And then 7.30 is the official time. The walk starts at 8. And we're doing two routes again this year. So I'm very excited about that. And it's a straight shot to this facility, which is the Duke Energy Center. We love this place. And that's also going to be the ending spot where everyone that did the walk, we get to celebrate, take pictures, and have fun. Then after that, in Hall C, we go to the zombie after party, which we're very excited with DJs, uh, all kinds of excitement and all kinds of entertainment and fun. And that goes from 8 to midnight. And every year, I get static at the Cincinnati Comic Expo. Now, I know you're from Cincinnati, yep. so you don't have to travel far, but it's great to see you every year here, not only at the Comic Expo, but then at the Zombie Walk. What brings you out here every year? Well, Rocky, to bring me out here to the Comic Expo is I get to meet celebrities, I get to hang out with you guys, and Excellent. meet some of the comic book artists from all over the world. And I look forward to the Zombie Walk because it does a great thing for the community, like donating to the Free Store Food Bank, which I yep. love donating to. Which is awesome. And he's always one of the people that helps out, helps promote. Great guy, static. That's me. Is Epsilon. And he comes from a little distance uh, to get here. And I'm very curious of not only where he came from, but what brings him here every year? And I will uh, gladly answer that. And I thank you for the opportunity and such the well wishes. Oh, always. They, call, they do indeed call me Epsilon. I am the commander of SARS Cincinnati. I love to come here just for the Cincinnati Zombie Walk itself. It's a zombie blast and great time, and I love coming here. I come from Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania, just for this. How and many I, hours How many hours does it take to get here? It's about a five-hour trip, uh, give okay. or take, uh, you know, for breaks and such. That is very cool. I love that he comes all the way from Pittsburgh, and he's a great guy. <laughs> And this year, guess who I get to see? I get to see Vixen. Hi. Vixen, all right. I'm glad you made it this year. Thank you. What brings you out to the Comic Expo as well as the Zombie Walk this year? What brought you out here? Uh, my cousin, who actually runs Cincinnati Stars, invited me to come out just to kind of try a different hive for once. And so far, I love it. It's been really nice to interact with everybody and just run the booth and help set up for the Zombie Walk. I'm like kind of like, a, like an old school girl. <laughs> and, tell, and tell the audience where you traveled from. You're not going to believe where she came from. I came from Chicago. <laughs> all right, all the way here from Chicago. We're having a blast out here, and you're awesome. Thank you, so are you. Thank you. I love stormtroopers. And what do you know? There's a stormtrooper right over there. Can, can we get the stormtrooper? What is it like to be a stormtrooper? It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. I agree, it's, but I feel it's very beautiful. I'm here with Marie. And she looks amazing. She caught my eye and I had to talk to her. So tell me, how long did it take you to make this? Oh my gosh, house? almost six months. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. A lot of planning. And then the makeup and everything? Uh, today I spent maybe an hour and a half in the 
bathroom doing the makeup, but it's got to be blended, so yeah. it's got to be perfect. Well, you look amazing today. Thank you. And uh, is this your first Comic Expo? No. Oh. Actually, uh, my family and I have been coming here for like three years, so we really enjoy it. We're hardcore Star Wars fans. And that's great. That's why we're here. That's great. Awesome. So I've got to ask, are you, are you really excited about Seven? Um, only every time that I breathe. <laughs> But other than that, no. <laughs> yes, I'm super excited. Uh, it's a really Think great JJ thing. Can pull it out for us? Oh yeah, I believe in JJ. Absolutely. I'm pretty excited myself. Absolutely. Yay! Awesome. It was, it was that very was nice great. talking uh, to you. You're awesome. I know, right? That yes. went really well. I was really nervous, but it really oh, went well. Man. See you guys later. All right. We are here with Brad Kelly, and Brad, I love your display. I wanted to tell you. Awesome. I really appreciate that. And how many years have you been at the Cincinnati Comic Expo? This is my first ever Cincinnati Comic Expo. Yay, I'm yes. Excited. Tell me what your thoughts are on day two. Uh, oh my gosh, I did not bring enough stuff. This was insane. And I was born in Cincinnati in '79, and I love to come home. Really? Now, where did you travel from? Okay, so uh, on December 26, I sold all the furniture in our house. I sold half our clothes, all the kitchen appliances. I sold the house. I quit my job and I shut down my firm so that I could tell the world about my wife's book series, Color World. So we've been on tour since December 26th. That's awesome. That is a great story. I love to hear stuff like that. And here you are today. Yeah. So what's great about Color World is it's not yes. just me and it's not just Rachel. Um, we did a Kickstarter to illustrate the books. Each book features a different artist who draws in a different style. And the cool thing is they read the book and they choose what to draw as they read. So we call it democratization of art. You choose which version of Wendy's your favorite, and when book seven comes out, all seven artists will do the entire series in their style. And this is all of their work from outside of the books. That is very exciting. I love this. And um, now, where could people go online to see more or to learn more? Yeah. So feel free to go to colorworldbooks.com, and then our Facebook page, uh, everything's at Color World Books, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and our reality TV show is basically on our Facebook page, so you can see videos of our family, <laughs> when we get when the RV breaks down on Highway 95 mm -hmm. and we have to sleep on the highway. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. This kind of stuff excites me. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for talking to us today, Brad, and I wish you the best with everything. Thank you so much. Thanks right. for coming by the Color World Book yeah. His story was so amazing. That is one of the reasons why I love the Cincinnati Comic Expo, is because you meet people with all kinds of different stories, and they're passionate about what they do, and I love passion. And I love stormtroopers. I love stormtroopers, and here we have a stormtrooper. How are you doing today? Is the same stormtrooper you talked to 10 minutes ago, or a different stormtrooper? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> And I don't want to say all stormtroopers look alike because that'll get me in trouble with all the stormtrooper world. You're getting in trouble anyway. I'm oh, a storm okay. trooper. You're already in trouble. <laughs> I was in trouble before I woke up. Range, so it is fairly racist to say all stormtroopers. Yes. Look alike. Yeah, so that's please. Profiling. What yes. Up? Please. That's one of those. I know he'll edit that out because somebody somewhere will take that and run with it. And, <laughs> but anyway, so tell me. <laughs> Tell me about the Comic Expo. How many times have you, Mr. Stormtrooper, how many times have you been to the Cincinnati Comic Expo here? Um, I've been with this one since the beginning. Like, they started out at Xavier. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So you've been doing this for six years. Well, no, not as a Stormtrooper. but Oh, with Vader, Stormtrooper, and a lot of various... I just fell into this eventually. But, yeah, the Stormtrooper, the past two or three years, yeah. That's great. We've got a good relationship with the Expo. You, know, you can see we got our own oh, now. The expo, they're great people. They really well, yeah. Yes. They raise a lot of money for charities. Which, which is, is awesome. Which is our goal, yeah. Yeah. So, of all the different characters you've been over the years of doing all the different comic expos, what is your favorite character that you've done? Um, I don't know, I'm torn. I really like the Stormtrooper. Yes. Because this is actually, for me, fairly comfortable. I got a good fit. Yeah. But um, the, I like my Obi-Wan, too, because I can sit down and go to the bathroom. <laughs> I love it. You look great, and uh, thank you for stopping and talking to us today. Oh, no problem. All right, thanks, man. You guys have fun. association with the 500 first? What's that? Do you have any association with the 500 first? Yeah, I'm 500 first, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, look for us at a theater near you soon. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> and we got yuck. 
Yuck, you look beautiful today. I love seeing you here. And I wanted to ask Yuck some questions, but Yuck is shy. So I'm going to ask Krista some questions. Krista, how many years have you been at the Comic Expo? Um, every year. So you've been here all six Since years? Since year one, yes. Okay. And tell everyone who, what you're associated, what you do here, what you guys do. Um, we're with Ringtail Cafe Productions. We're a comic studio of uh, comic books and games. And um, Confectionaries, which is where Yuck is from, is one of our series. It's an all-age fantasy series where all the characters are made of different sweets and candies, brought to life magically by a wizard. And I've had a chance, uh, I know last year and the year before, looking closer at their work. And it's beautiful, and it's really, they know what's going on, and you ought to check them out sometime. So thank you very much. Yuck, thank you. Krista, thank you for talking to us today. Thank you. Hey, we need to get back. It is time for us to go over to Hall C and check on the zombie walk after party. People are getting ready. We need to go check on it to make sure everything's okay before we go over to the free store food bank. That's the story. And the next one. Hey, always great to see uh, man, you. Too. Man, how, how are you doing? doing? Well, doing well. All right. Getting a lot of promotion. Yes. Awesome. It's, what's great is it's almost like a double bonus. You get the comic expo, see all the people you love, and then you have the zombie walk on Saturday night tonight, yes. Yes. and you get to see all the zombie walk people. So it's been an amazing day, and I'm excited. And awesome. Zombie awesome. walk starts at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Staple of Cincinnati. One of the best things about Cincinnati is right here. Right here. Big fan. My kids are fans. Just. One of the best things about Cincinnati. So. Thank you very much. Good You're a great guy. Okay. And it's always great I'll to catch see you. you. Yes. Yes. Thanks. We'll see you tonight. Yep. Our best. All right. My booth's right around the corner. So let's head back to the booth, see where every how everyone's doing, and then we need to go to Hall C. All right. So look straight at me. So tell us what have you guys enjoyed about the expo? I was just walking around seeing all the stuff for purchase. Um, I'm a big yes. Pops collector, so I love the Funko Pops finals. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. What's the coolest thing you've seen this year? Hmm. I don't know. I really <laughs> love the old school Batmobile. Yes. That's my favorite. <laughs> so tell us about your outfits. Like, what, what, which, which, which Care Bears are you? Um, I am Rainbow Care Bear. And wish bear. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually, uh, I made these outfits. Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah, I'm a costume designer. Very good. Do you, uh, it's like, you got big, big care bear books, or do you just like, you know what, we want to do something different this color? Pretty much. I mean, a little bit of both. Um, I was a big care bear fan when I was little. I really, yeah. you know, I don't watch it anymore, so. <laughs> yeah, she came up with the idea a couple years ago, made our costumes, so. I'm Caitlin, and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a big Harley Quinn nerd and satisfactory, so I am just a huge nerd, and I have a darker personality, so Harley Quinn obviously applies to that. Very nice. How long did it take you to uh, make your outfit? You want it all to make? Uh, three months to put it together, and to put it all together today was about an hour, to say the least. So when did you get here? Oh, when it started, just about, so, around 10. This is craziness. I'm so happy. This is pure craziness. Look. And look who this is. Mortified Zombie. Yay. I love her. 
Rocky, my best friend. Love him. I love her. Love him. The pent of your sins will perish in hellfire. Every year we have a first at the Cincinnati Zombie Walk. Here we go. Protesters. Protesters. Jesus loves everyone. Judgment of Jesus one day. Why did it go? Fun size only in fact. Gina, there's Joe. Yeah, he's not even here. All right, hi, this is Mortified Zombie. We are inside the Cincinnati Zombie Walk. bunch of crazy zombies and it's gonna be awesome. Oh, oh my feet like, hurt so oh, bad. Oh. Ah! I'm falling. We're, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna be doing uh, what, 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 what actually if my heels get stuck in my dress it should be pretty easy for me to fall and act like a zombie. That is true. This is true. So I should just let go of it and I'll do a perfect job of falling. Sir and step in. Of course, when Tom, okay, Rex. Yeah. Welcome sure. to the Cincinnati Zombie Walk. Yeah. Uh, just heckled all of the crazy Christian church people. Told them that I was going to do horrible things to them. Such a good time because they're just the worst. So. That, that that is true. Yeah. But so. Jesus loves everyone, so we forgive them. Yeah. Let's not let's not forget. We, we got we gotta pay our respects to God and Jesus and. Yep. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carry on to the ballroom. Okay. Do you know where the ballroom is? Because I don't. 